purely for your entertainment, I thought I'd do something very different for my channel, which is take one of these online IQ tests. Really just to show you what these tests are like and to amuse you, I googled free IQ test and this is the first link that came up. So no idea really about the quality of these questions. I can see that there are two types. We have this, what they call culture fair test with eight questions and apparently it's for non-English natives. And we have a classical IQ test here, 10 questions of 10 different question types. Either way, this is purely for entertainment purposes only. I have no idea how I'm gonna do. Let's just put it this way. If I do badly, then the whole test is silly. And if I do well, it's a great test. <laughs> I'm joking. Again, think of this more as entertainment and as seeing how someone who comes from a GRE GMAT background does with one of these kind of tests. No idea how I'm gonna do and no idea if it's timed or not, but it doesn't look like it's timed. So let's just answer them one by one. Which figure logically belongs on the spot of the question mark? Well, it's gonna have three of those boxes and they're gonna be on the right because they're on the left, then the middle, then the right. So this one, right? Can't see anything wrong with that. This, we've got a square and then we've got a circle inside of a square. So this is gonna be a pentagon inside of a square, a black pentagon inside of a square because the bottom row is pentagon and it's black because it's in the third column and it's inside a square. Seems reasonable to me. This one, well, the line here is on the right and now it's in the middle and now it's on the left. So I'm expecting it to be on the left and for the line here to be at the bottom because it was at the top, the horizontal line, then the middle, now at the bottom. So I'm expecting the horizontal line to be at the bottom and like this one and the vertical line to be on the left. So again, I might have missed something, but that's why I would pick. This looks like it's gonna be quite quick actually. I'll do both tests, I'm sure. Okay, which figure logically belongs on the spot? Okay, so we've only got one dot, so I'm looking for ones with one dot, which is presumably gonna be these two, and three white rectangles, because we have one for the top row, two rectangles, and then three rectangles here. So it seems to make sense for it to be this one. This one, we've got one line, and now two lines, and now three lines. And in terms of the direction, you can see, ooh, so it's gonna be three lines, this is a bit harder. Which direction is it going? Is it going clockwise or anti-clockwise? It's a bit harder. I almost certainly picked this one, but I feel like I might be missing something. I'd think for another 30 seconds and then just pick it. Mm. The thing is, it doesn't seem to be going clockwise or anything. No, I don't see that being the pattern. So I think it's this one. Yeah, because then there's three flat ones, three going diagonally to the right, and therefore we need a third one going diagonally to the left. Okay, that took me probably a bit too long, but either way. Okay, this one. Okay, well, we've got three square, I don't know, four squares. Hmm. No, it can't be that. Hmm. Well, Matching the top, you'd expect a downward triangle. That's the only thing we don't have. No, yeah, downward triangle. Now in terms of squares, genuinely not sure how they're gonna finish this off. I don't see where they get two triangles from. I know a star is two triangles, but I don't get the four dots thing. I don't get how that comes in. Oh, maybe it's, okay, yeah, so going downwards. Oh, okay, it finishes it off, yes. So this has a, this one, for example, has a triangle and the dots. This is just the dots, this is just a triangle. This one has a star and the dots inside of a square. Then it's just the dots inside of the square, then it's just the star. So it's, okay, so this one at the top is a square and a triangle, then it's just a square, then it's just a triangle. So I was right, but I found the reasoning after all. Okay. 
this one. And it's moving one to the right each time. So two dots, and now the two dots are to the right. And then it's moving like snakes on that mobile phone game. And then moving again to the right, again to the right, again, again, again. So then you'd expect the last one, if you move it one to the right, this, this cross on the right is going to go to the top left up here. And then this cross here is going to move one to the right here. It's like Snake, the mobile phone game. If you're too young to know what that is, you can look it up. But it's just like that. Okay, this one. Going up. Hmm. Do I look across or do I look down? That's going up one. Maybe I look down. Maybe it's going two across. And then it pops another one. No, but then that's not going to across. Hmm. There's some sort of pattern about where it's going. I don't know whether to look downwards or across. It goes up one, and then one pops below. Then this one's going up two to get here, so it doesn't seem to be going across. Hmm. Wow. This is tough. This is probably one I'm going to get wrong. Notice the answer choices. There's always three or four or five and this one's got two and this one's got one but is it gaining how is it gaining triangles up one then you gain one this goes up two and then you gain one this one moves okay so okay so it goes up one and then the original stays the same. Okay, so the, the third row here, sorry, the third column merges the two here. So you've got a triangle bottom right, a triangle on the top, that's merged here. Triangle bottom left, triangle top left, and they're merged for this third one. These two on the bottom, and then the two on the top, they're gonna be merged for this one with two on the top and two on the bottom, which would be like this one. We've got the two on the top from the middle, square and the two on the bottom from the first square to give you this. Okay, now they want my I'm gender. I'm just going to make up a random age because I don't see why I need to know this. I'm going to say that I'm from Antarctica. Maybe just US. I'm not from the US. Education level is university. Let's see if that gives me the results. Your IQ score lies within the range 133 up to 149 or it may be even higher. Wait, does it tell me how many I got right? Uh, where's my actual results? Hmm. I presume I got all of them right because that's why they say it might be even higher. Because if I hadn't got all of them right, then they would have said you, you're in this range and you didn't get higher. So I think that that was my score. That was quite fun. It was all about shapes though, which is not my strong point and very, very different from the GRE and GMAT. So I hope you found that entertaining. I am gonna do the other one. Okay, I'm gonna pause and try and get the free one up. Okay, and we're back to the main screen and this is gonna be the classical intelligence test. So maybe more what a normal IQ test will look like, I'm not sure. I haven't done a formal IQ test in my life, so I don't know. But either way, I hope this is entertaining for you. I wouldn't really, unless you're really, really curious and you've got money to burn, I wouldn't recommend ever paying for an online test. I know there are a lot of dodgy IQ tests out there, so you've got to take your results with a pinch of salt. It's really not too serious, a lot of these tests. Okay, oh, it's timed. I've only got 10 minutes. Oh, this is fun. But the clock's not going down, that's weird. Which answer expresses the meaning of the specified word? Reassuring. To be reassuring, that's comforting. Is the timer gonna go down or what? word anyway okay I guess I've got 10 minutes oh 10 minutes starting from now I'd say so weird which number logically follows a series four six nine six well the six is every other one and then it goes four nine fourteen if you ignore the sixes which is every other one it goes four nine fourteen so it's going up in fives so the next one will be nineteen Back to shapes again. Oh no, which of the figures in the bottom row should logically be in the spot? Okay. 
Well, there are six shapes, is that relevant? But then it goes up to seven here, and then it goes up to eight, and then it goes to seven again. So it's gonna go down to six. Oh, if we look at the crosses, there's four, three, two, one. So I want no crosses, which is gonna be this one. And then the stars are going up by one. One, two, three, four. Okay, so you want one heart because one, two, three, two, one. And then you want, I think, three stars because one, two, three, four, three, two, one. And the cross is, yeah, so I think it has to be this one. Cross is zero, like four, three, two, one, zero. If that's wrong, who cares? Which conclusion follows from the statement with absolute certainty? None of the stamp collectors is an architect. All of the drones are stamp collectors. Well, that means that none of the drones are an architect. Architects are not drones, yes. Because if you're a drone, you're definitely a stamp collector. And if you're a stamp collector, you're definitely not an architect. So architects are not drones. I'm happy with that one. What does the resulting cube, oh, I hate these. I used to do these at school, I used to hate them so much. <laughs> what does the resulting cube look like if you fold this cube together? Oh man. I mean, seven, four, oh, I'm so bad at these. I have no idea. I, if the seven was on top, like there could be a four and a one beneath it like this. Like if you folded that up and then turned it round, you'd have a, a seven on top and a, f would the four be like that though? I think so. Then would the one be like that? Um, I can't imagine it in my head. So bad at these. Hmm, I don't know. Uh, could you imagine? It could be any of these though, right? No, because the seven is not, the bottom of the seven is not pointing to the sharp bit of the four, so it can't be that one. I don't want to waste too much time. I think I'd go for that one. Let me just do one last check. That fits with the seven and the four. Like they are in that orientation. Is the bottom of the one pointing to? I think so, yeah, I don't know. I really don't know. What is the correct answer to the following problem? Tom has a new set of golf clubs. Using a club eight, the ball travels an average of 100. Using a seven, it travels 108. Using a six, it travels that. How far will the ball go if it uses a club five? It went up by eight, and then it went up by six. So one would guess it's now gonna go up by four, like 118, if the pattern follows. 100 jumps by eight, then jumps by six. So then it's gonna jump by four. No idea, okay. Which answer expresses the meaning opposite to that of the specified word? So tough, tender. Tough doesn't mean brave, so the opposite isn't cowardly. Starch, no, strong, no, tender. It means like vulnerable, whereas tough means like resistant. So I'll go with that. Which word can logically replace the question mark? Water is to a pipe as something is to a wire. Well, water travels through a pipe. So what travels through a wire? Electricity, right? Heat doesn't travel through a wire, gas doesn't. So electricity, yeah. Which of the meanings is the best fitting of the specified word? Displeasure. Hmm. To express your displeasure. It's not, a displeasure isn't a sin. Displeasure is an injustice. 
Displeasure isn't futile, as in pointless. Discord means discontent. Ah, oh, it's close though. Ah, oh, it's between these two. To express your displeasure. Displeasure basically means not being happy. So it depends if they mean it in the noun sense. There's discord between two people. There's displeasure between two people. But you wouldn't say, I'm going to make a complaint. I'm going to make a displeasure. He expressed his displeasure at the activity. None of these are perfect. This is maybe a dodgy test. <laughs> I'm complaining about the test again. None of those is perfect. He felt displeasure. Discord is more like an argument. Mm. I think this one, Discord is more like a debate and argument. I'm not entirely sure though. I, I don't like either of those answers. So I'll go for that one. Which of the below figures can be composed from the loose parts? Let's just go through them. This one, but there's no shape that looks like that on the right. And definitely it just looks weird on the left, doesn't it? It looks really thin. Okay, this one, we've got these two, but then we don't have that Tetris shape, the one with the three blocks and the one block. So it's not that one. This one, we've got the big L, we've got the little L, but we don't have a square box. This one, we've got the big L, the little L, and then that other shape, and then the, the dot. So it's this one. Okay, that was a weird, weird test, but it was interesting. And let's see how it go. If it doesn't go well, I'm blaming the test completely. Ooh, 10 out of 10. Nice. Ooh, that was tough. I didn't think I'd get a 10 out of 10, especially on that cube one with a seven and the four. That was like half a guess, to be honest. This indicates an IQ score of 125 or more. This equals university level education. In principle, you do not have to be concerned that you will get a very low score on a comprehensive IQ test. Nice. Okay, well, I hope that that was entertaining for you. I hope I explained some of my reasoning here for each of the questions. But it wasn't really about getting better at these tests. It was just a fun insight into what an IQ test might look like if you ever happen to find yourself taking one. And to show you how someone who's skilled in one area, like me with the GRE or GMAT, isn't necessarily skilled all the facets of an IQ test. Hope you found that entertaining. See you in the next video.